Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak iOS 4.3.5. Now this is tethered and it's very similar to the 4.3.4 method. So you're going to be using Red Snow and using actually the same version of Red Snow as before. I just wanted to point out right here, 4.3.5, to just prove that I'm on the new firmware. Now this was just released by Apple and it's signing blobs for it so a lot of people may accidentally update or get to this and this is the one way to jailbreak um, note that it is tethered like I said and you'll have to be repeating the second part every time you turn off your device so if you turn off your device because you need to for some reason you won't be able to turn it back on with the jailbreak unless you go through this procedure which is fairly simple now what you're gonna need to do first is open red snow you can go link in the description will lead you to this post you're gonna need three things the down the red snow download just click there and get it from the page you're going to need to be on iOS 4.3.5, obviously, to jailbreak it. And you're going to need the 4.3.4 firmware file. So once you have all those, you're ready to begin. Boot up Red Snow. And we can start like this. Now hit Browse. And now search for your 4.3.4 firmware file. Notice that it has to be the same as the device you're using, but you can just easily find that through the posts. And then hit Open. And now I'll process the firmware. Once it's done with that, just hit next and it will um, do this preparing jailbreak data thing. And once that is done, in a few seconds, you'll get to another screen. And it'll say it'll have all these options. The only one you need is checked is install Cydia. You can have battery percentage if that's what you want. Anyways, um, I'm actually going to do multitasking, multitasking gestures just for fun and hit next. Now, what the next page is going to do is show you how to get into DFU mode. I'll be hitting next and then following the instructions to get into DFU mode. Also, filming my iPod so you can see what's happening. So, it says wait for three seconds. And then you're going to hold both the home and sleep button for ten seconds. And then you're going to let go of the sleep button. and you'll see that it is now jailbreaking so it's exploiting its membrane and code should be spilling out on your device in just a bit after it reboots and I'll be fast forwarding through this step and to the final step after this and note that you are not done after this please do not post that you have a white icon as you're not fully done now and it won't it should not work as it boots up this is just the first step now once you're done with that you'll see that your device will boot up and on the second page will be a broken Cydia. Now I'm going to be showing you how to boot Tether and make that work. So what you're going to need to do is hit finish and reload the um, file. So reload Red Snow. Just unzip it right now. Open it. Open. And there we go. So what you're going to need to do is hit browse once again. Find your firmware at 4.3 before just like before and note that this part that we're doing now the second red snow run you're going to be doing every time your device turns off and that's the downside to a tethered jailbreak so if anything bad happens you can always restore however you're going to be needing to do this to be able to turn your device on fully functional and now in this step uncheck the two given to you and check just boot tethered now hit next and the same thing will happen like before just go into DFU mode follow instructions and I'll be doing that right now now let go of sleep And any time now? Oh, it already went. So now this will be uh, rebooting your device into a tethered mode. And once you do this, it'll say done. You can just hit finish. Now we'll be waiting for the device to turn on. Meanwhile, uh, make sure to follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook. These really help. And it's um, you'll get instant updates on all our jailbreaking posts, etc and new jailbreaks and stuff like this and it'll be it's especially good for people just jailbreaking we have a lot of news on cool tweaks and stuff like that to get 
and the device should turn on shortly. You'll see it's loading with a pineapple. Just take a few more seconds. And there we go. See, turn the device on, scroll to Cydia, tap it, and see that it does work. It's logged in right now. You can hit user if you want and verify that it works because it does open. I didn't connect to internet. Anyways, there you go. You have your device jailbroken on 4.3.5. Uh, if you like this video, make sure to like it and subscribe. And we'll see you guys um, in a new jailbreak video coming shortly.